actually it's even worse than that because what the studies show is that, so from going from 2000, 2000 and stable, you eat 1500, your body actually drops your expenditure to 1400. Then you start to gain weight. So you lose weight initially for six months. As your body adapts, your metabolic rate goes down to 1400, you're eating 1500 and gaining weight. And then people say, well, you must be gaining weight because you're cheating on your diet. You're not cheating on your diet. It's because you've dropped your energy expenditure so low. We know that happens. Every single study we've done shows that that is what happens. And yet this is what people tell you, eat less. It just doesn't work because what you've done is you haven't created the conditions necessary to use the body fat. Remember what you want to do is to, uh, you know, if you have 2000 calories in 2000 calories out body fat as a store, right? So it's like, imagine this, say you go to the grocery store, you get food, you eat some food and you put whatever stored into the fridge, right? So if you, um, all of a sudden you, so you're going three times a day to buy food, you store some, you eat some, it's all in balance. Now, all of a sudden you, you, you don't go to a store, so there's nothing to eat, but your fridge is locked. Well, what do you do? Well, you just, you can't burn anything. You can't use anything, right? That's the same thing with insulin. If insulin is high, then you can't access your body fat stores. So if you eat constantly and you're eating low fat, high carb foods, insulin is high. You can't access your body fat stores. Okay. So now you look at those three variables. Body fat stores is, is locked away. You can't get at that. Yeah. You, you reduce your calories into 1500. The only way you can balance this equation is to reduce your calories out to 1500. So now what happens is that you used to burn 2000. Now you're burning 1500. You're cold, you're tired, you're hungry, and you're gaining weight. What you want to do is unlock the calories that are available in your fat stores so that you can eat 1500. You can continue to burn 2000 and that 500 is coming out from there. The only way you can do that is get your insulin levels down so that you can get access to that. And that's what I mean. You have to understand what is it that's keeping us high. So this old idea from 10 years ago that you should eat sort of super low fat, super low cal, it's actually, and, and eat six to eight, 10 times a day. It was exactly the wrong thing. The opposite. Of what it was the exact doing. opposite for losing weight. You need to get your energy out from the body fat. That's what you're trying to do. Not eat less. You're just trying to get those stores out. And the only way you can do that is to create the hormonal conditions that allows it to do that. Both can create a calorie deficit What's important is to create the hormonal conditions that allows you to use your body fat. So if you eat 1500 calories constant throughout the day versus sort of once a day, then the rest of the day, your insulin levels are going to go down during intermittent fasting. Your insulin levels go down. Your body now gets a signal, hey, I should start pulling calories back out from body fat. So as you do that, you can make up the other 500 calories that you're missing. If you're just taking 1500 calories constantly throughout the day, insulin levels stay high, your body never gets a signal that, hey, you can start taking out your calories. Well, if you only have 1500 coming in and you don't have any, anything coming out from your body, you can only burn 1500. That's how your metabolic rate goes down from 2000 calories to 1500 calories. And that's the difference between fasting and, um, and, 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 and just pure calorie restriction. Even though both are the same number of calories, you're trying to make sure that it's the hormones that are fixed.